Now it is time for no one's favorite part of the show. This is the worst of the week. You guys, Keanu Reeves is currently in, undergoing a sort of a career renaissance, right? In addition to there being a lot of talk once more about a third Bill and Ted movie, which I'm all in favor of, you've got him absolutely killing it in the John Wick movies, right? Like, just when you think Keanu is probably done as a performer, John Wick comes out, blows us all away, right? So, it is with this in mind that we return to the 90s, to, to Keanu's pre-Matrix career, and look at Johnny Mnemonic. Whew. It's interesting to watch this movie knowing that the Matrix, which is a sort of similarly... I don't know, conceived of, I don't know, sort of a, it's in the ballpark, right? Because this is a movie where Keanu Reeves plays an assassin in the future with like a hard drive in his head that he uses to smuggle digital files around for people. Now, in today's day and age where you can attach things to an email and send them that way, that you would need to upload something into a dude's head and have him physically run it over to you is pretty silly. But they didn't know that then. Bleh. I, this is a, an ugly movie. It doesn't look good. It looks really sleazy in an uninviting way. The plot doesn't make a lot of sense. The ideas aren't there to buoy any of it. And the plot, such as it is, is confusing. Um, you do have Ice-T in this movie as a guy who's a semi-ally of Johnny's. Dolph Lundgren. Uh, plays a disheveled, I, I'm not sure if he's an ex-priest or if that's just a styling that they've given the character assassin who's on Keanu's trail. Is there an awesome scene where Keanu fights Dolph? No. There's a scene where they, uh, there's a confrontation certainly, but nothing exciting. The most exciting thing in this movie? Cyborg Dolphin. Otherwise, not, you know, not great. I will give a little bit of a shout out to actress Dinah Meyer, who I adored as Dizzy in Starship Troopers. She's in this as, uh, as sort of the aide-de-camp or reluctant protector of Johnny a little bit later into the movie. She does OK. And I, 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 she's an actress that I don't feel like I've seen in movies enough. So I enjoyed seeing her in this. But it's a trash character in a trash movie. One and a half stars. And don't forget to visit our website, northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever. There, you can watch reviews of every movie we've ever covered here on the show, as well as complete episodes. That's northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever.